So at the time of this recording, there's only two Western Conference teams off to a 3-0 start this season. And with all due respect, between the Lakers and OKC, the Thunder are the ones that appear legit. You know, even though the season has just barely begun, it looks like OKC fully intends on replicating last year's amazing regular season performance in which they also held the number one seed. And yeah, today's video is pretty straightforward. You know, OKC has a lot of guys that deserve credit we know how tough Shea is. That man's been hooping as if he's going for the MVP award. You know, they've got a strong starting five between Jalen Williams, Lou Dorr, Aaron Wiggins, and obviously Chet. And then their defense has been ridiculous. They rank number one so far this season. However, of all these pillars to their success, the one we'll focus on today is their seven foot giant, Chet Holmgren, because he's playing like he's out for vengeance. I don't know if it's because Wemby won Rookie of the Year over him, but he's been playing very, very well to start the season. The other day versus Atlanta, he had six blocks, made it look easy, and if he keeps this up, he's gonna become their favorite for Defensive Player of the Year really, really fast. And then beyond that, he's just clearly improved in every area of his game. And today we're going to talk about it. So yeah, y'all go ahead and let me know in the comments, where do you rank Chet Holmgren in the grand scheme of NBA bigs? And yeah, man, really quick before I go any further, what's up YouTube? Plug Speaks, back with another video. If you're new, first of all, welcome. Go ahead and sub. Also like the video if you enjoy. I upload quality basketball content. We're on the ground for 5K, so I'd most def appreciate it. Appreciate every single viewer. But yeah, man, back to the video. So three games into the season, Chet Holmgren is averaging a whopping 23 points, 13 rebounds, and four blocks. And when watching the highlights of these games, it's pretty amazing how he just seamlessly fills up the stat sheet. Like, it really is true that the play style of some players just naturally allows them to have nice numbers within the natural flow of the game. And clearly, Chet is a great example of this. You know, he's fully involved on both sides of the ball as far as being one of the primary scorers on offense but also being a major threat on defense. And this is hoping OKC look as dominant as they are throughout the first three games of the season. They know what they've got with Shea. And I gotta admit, one of the things that has always kind of surprised me and fascinated me about this man, Shea Holmgren, is how little the physicality of the NBA affects him. You know, I ain't trying to sit here and act like he's super scrawny by any means. You know, I'm aware that his ridiculous height makes him look scrawnier and weaker than he may actually be. But regardless, when I look at him, he doesn't seem like the player you'd expect to be flying down the lane for dunks nearly as much as he does. Like, literally. The Thunder love a good pick and roll with Chet in the mix. And more times than not, he's coming. He's not coming up short on any of those lobs or passes received in the paint. You know, he's real crafty with his post game. He doesn't struggle much trying to get past the defense. And then beyond the paint buckets, the man's ball handling for his height is up there with some of the best guys in the league. I mean, come on now. We're talking about a seven footer. He's able to dribble past defenders, work his way into a pull up and all that. I've seen him push the ball in transition Blow pass guys, you know, use change of pace as if he's six foot. <laughs> this guy is not six foot. You know, just a lot of things we don't usually see from bigs. But of course, that's why he's a unicorn. And yeah, it's really interesting because so far this season, if there's one thing in Chet's game I had to point out that's different, it's simply his aggression. I'm gonna throw the stats up on the screen. And again, I understand we're only three games into the season, so it's not much to work with. However, Looking at his strong rookie year in comparison to now, it's crazy. He's attempting seven more shots a game, and on this higher volume of shots, he's shooting an even higher percentage from the field. I mean, sheesh, we do not see that often. He clearly entered the 2024-25 NBA season with a different mentality where he's just not being shy about attempting shots. Because sure, the coach could have something to do with this, you know, just drawing more plays up for him, calling for Chet to be more involved on offense, all that good stuff. But ultimately, it's on the player to take action and influence in the game. And this is something Chet is doing very, very well right now, like for real. And let me go ahead and apologize for focusing so much on offense because his defense has been just as impressive. I mean, bro, the first game of the season was no pushover for OKC. You know, they 
they faced the Nuggets and obviously reigning MVP Nikola Jokic. And in an interview ahead of the game, Chet had spoken about how tough Jokic is and said it would really require a team effort to limit his buckets and whatnot. But he must have been trying to keep it humble because although Jokic didn't play terribly, he only had 16 points. Now, he did drop a triple-double. I won't pretend like he just played very, very bad. However, in that game, Chet did an amazing job of simply denying him the ball. You know, they made sure that if they were going to lose, it would have to come at the hands of somebody else. And this led to them holding the Nuggets to just 87 points in the game. So, yeah, sure, Jokic had 13 assists. But as far as OKC is concerned, the man could have had 20. You know, he could have went for the record as long as he wasn't giving them the points. And that's exactly what happened. And matter of fact, we see evidence that this was the right way to go the very next game because the Nuggets played the Clippers. And in that game, Jokic dropped 40 points, additional all just four assists. So yeah, it's clearly a give and take type of situation if I've ever heard of one. And OKC might have found something as far as their defensive strategy. But anyway, moving back to offense real quick, I want to speak on something Chet has said himself as far as where he focuses off-season workouts. And interestingly enough, it was his shooting ability. You see, as a rookie, he shot an impressive 37% from deep on about four attempts per game, something that many bigs in the NBA cannot do. And yet, he feels as though this part of his game needs improvement. Now, so far this season, he hasn't shot that well. He's made just three of his 15 attempts. However, the fact that he openly said he was intentional on becoming a better shooter has me wondering how nice he might be this season, like, for real. Maybe, I don't know what it was. Maybe it was the Wemby superiority talk that did it, or maybe it was how they lost in the playoffs. Because Chet is just moving different, and I feel like we don't usually see guys take this leap in just their second season. So yeah, and let me just say that as far as looking at the Thunder as a whole, they might do some this year. You know, I was one of the people that doubted them last year due to the youth of the team and all that. You know, I didn't see them making noise in the playoffs, just having such little experience in the postseason. You know, they hadn't been through much. However, this year will probably be a lot different. Again, Shea is going crazy. He's going for MVP. The team's defense is through the roof. And Shea is playing as if he's got a chip on his shoulder. <laughs> So yeah, with that being said, man, I'm going to wrap this video up, but I appreciate y'all watching, man. Like the sub, share it, sub if new, all of that. Let me know what you think about OKC. Could they make some noise this year? Are they a legitimate number one seed or do they just look good in the regular season? Let me know. Hey, yeah, bro, like I said, I appreciate y'all watching. See y'all on the next one and I'm out.